sure hope tomorrow's annual Smurf picnic will be one to remember. Deja vu, the always are. <laughs> Gosh, Andy, remember when I helped you build these benches? Hey, that's right. You tripped and broke them twice. <laughs> Golly, I don't remember that. <laughs> But I guess it could have happened. <laughs> that was pretty funny, but not as funny as the time I brought that big gift box, remember? I do. Ooh, it was so loud I couldn't get any sleep. Ah, uh, those were the good old days. I hate the good old days! <laughs> all I do these days is work, 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 and all he does is give me more work, work, work. <laughs> Huh. I thought I was bad, but this guy is downright rotten. Thank you, but flattery will get you nowhere. In fact, when you finish washing the dishes, you can straighten out my spell book and mop the floor. Come, Asriel, we'll stalk some Smurfs for our supper. Why couldn't I be an apprentice to a nice wizard? One I could take advantage of. <gasps> Wait a minute. Maybe I can make Gargamel a nice wizard. But Handy, that was years ago. Hmm, so what? I'll never forget how you broke my Smurf wagon. Attention, my sparkling little Smurfs. If you have complaints about each other, just write them down and put them in this grudge box. Once the old grudges are in the box and off their minds, I'm sure my Smurfs will be back to their Smurfy selves. Smurfs. I'm afraid my grudge box is making matters worse. Let's see. All my formula needs now is a handful of wimpy weeds. And last but not least, a small pile of pansy petals. One squirt of this, and mean old Gargi will be good old Mr. Nice. <laughs> What have you been up to, you worthless little worm? Well, I was going to surprise you, Gargi, but it's a present. A little spritz of this will make you more ruthless, more cunning, and more evil than ever. Stand back, you sniveling snail. Uh, I mean, sit down, dear boy. Let me make you comfortable. Uh, uh, how's that? Why didn't you go into town and bring me some pastries from the baker's shop? Oh, yes, of course it'll be my treat. Toodle scruple, you little angel. Why do we have to pick all the Smurf berries for the annual Smurf picnic? Because all the other Smurfs are too busy picking on each other. Quick with quail! The way things are going, there may never be a picnic! <laughs> or anything else! <laughs> Smurf for your lives! Kitty, leave the nice little Smurfs alone. Let's get out of here, Sassy. No, 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 please don't go. Oops. Uh, sorry, Pappy Gargamel. Oh, don't worry, your little pigtails, my precious. Accidents will happen. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. That's tasty in my tummy. Oh, dear. I'm afraid I've eaten all your delicious berries. Oh, no, no, no! Allow me! I insist! Oh, what's with Gargamel? He's just being nice! I always knew he had it in him! Yoo-hoo, Scruple! I'm home! Back so soon? And where are my pastries, Gargi? Pastries? Why, you pasty-faced ankle biter! Get out of my chair! And the name's Gargamel! Ooh, I'm so bad. <laughs> Thanks to your wonderfully rotten formula. What? It, it's empty. Well, just don't stand around, you shiftless sap. Go get some more. Happy Gargamel sure acted nice. Which is more than I can say for the Smurfs. Look! Hey, little Smurfs, please, please. I have an important announcement. I've decided to turn today's annual Smurf picnic into a special forgive and forget picnic. I will destroy the grudge box, and you can all let bygones be bygones. Uh, what do you say? I hate bygones, whatever they are. Oh, my Smurfness. I'm not sure even this picnic can bring the Smurfs back together. Smurf 
Deliveroo. If they can forgive and forget all the bad stuff he's done to them in the past, then they can certainly forgive each other. Come on! <laughs> Just my luck, Asriel. I found plenty of wimpy weeds, but not one puny pansy petal. I sure hope my formula works without them. Uh, what's this? Some sort of little map. Why, I must have stolen this from those Smurfs this morning. At last, a map to their village. Oh, it's so nice to be evil. Ah, <laughs> uh, what difference can a few piddly pansy petals make? Well, it's about time. And soon the Smurfs' time will be up. <laughs> well, Toodles, I'm off to visit my cute little friends, the Smurfs. Hmm, it worked, I guess. When I get to that Smurf village, I'll have a picnic picking off those... Ah, charming little Smurfs. Oh, they're just so precious. Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh, 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 Bigger and bed bugs. When Pappy Smurf gets here, he's not gonna like every Smurf not liking each other. Yoo-hoo! Smurfs! I'm here! Ah! Oh, dear. Did I say something wrong? Pappy Gargamel! Oh, oh, uh, don't worry. Oh, oh, they're just playing Goody! That sounds like fun! Well, run along and hide. Here I come, ready or not, you little blue pests! Aren't you glad we invited Pappy Gargamel to play with us, Brainy? You... you invited him here? Are you out of your Smurf? I still say Papa Smurf would never approve of playing with Gargamel. Well, Papa Smurf said forgive and forget. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, gosh, I always get caught first and hide and go smurfed. Oh, all right then. I'll give you another chance. Run along. <laughs> Golly, you sure are nice. We are nice. <laughs> Jumping jackrabbit. Isn't this fun, Gargamel? Oh, yes, it is. I just love giving Goggy back rides to you, sweet little smurfs. Oh, you Smurfs are really becoming a pain in my neck. Oh, yeah. That was fun! Fun? I'm tired of playing around. It's time to eat. Smurfaroo! Come on, every Smurf. Let's go eat. Come back here, you rotten little... Wait for me, my lovely little playmates. It's empty. Is that some sort of a joke? Yes, a joke. And it's on you, all of you. <laughs> Smurferoo! Hey, don't play so rough. <laughs> Great Smurfs, what's Gargamel doing here? Uh, playing, Papa Smurf, I think. That's right, Papa Smurf. And I'm playing for keeps. <laughs> But, but how did you catch all these Smurfs? You even caught the smart one with the beard. No problem. Thanks to your spray, I've never been more cunning, more ruthless or evil. But Pappy Gargamel, you are being so nice. I am nice. Nice and hungry. <laughs> Smurfs, you must remember, forgive and forget, even if it's the last oh, thing you do. All this niceness is ruining my appetite. Come on, Scruple, let's start sautéing these simpering Smurfs. Me? Sauté them? No way, Gargi. Why, you squeamy squirrel, be ruthless like me. What you need is a dose of your own medicine. Oh, no! <laughs> 
You're so thoughtful. Thank you. My, what sad-looking Smurfs. Maybe some fresh air will help. Run along now. A pinch of salt, a little tenderizer. Hey, they're escaping! Run, my little Smurfs. Bye-bye now, you cute little critters. You fool! Look what you've done! Oh, I'm terribly sorry, dear master. Did you hurt yourself? <laughs> what hit you, Gargi? Oh, I knew I'd been too easy on you. From now on, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Troubles grow double when grudges don't budge. Let the past be the past. What is done is done. Smurfs be forgiven and past problems forgot. Be gone now, Buck. We need you now. <sighs> Now, Jokey. <laughs> what a great way to end a picnic. Well, I hope every Smurfs finally learn to forgive and forget. Smurferoo. And we learned something else, right, Sassette? Yeah. When it comes to Pappy Gargamel, never forget who it is you're forgiving. so much fun preparing for Clockwork's Bill Day Banquet. <laughs> well, almost every Smurf. <laughs> now, according to Brainy's first guide to better banquets, you should move the table two feet to the left. I hate two feet to the left. No, make that one foot to the right. Oh, gosh, I, I never remember which is the right and which is the left. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't mean my right foot. Everything looks perfectly smurfy for Clockwork's Bill Day celebration. Well, he certainly deserves it. Yeah, Clockwork's always ready with a helping hand. Hmm. No smurf or machine is a bigger help than me. And I'll prove that I'm the most helpful smurf by lending you all a helping hand using my latest book, Brainy's Brilliant Helpful Hints. Well, then, how about helping me out with these plates, Brainy? Always glad to help a fellow smurf, Greedy. <laughs> now, one plate should be set over there, and one over there, and... Whoa! <laughs> Being helpful is such a thankless job. <laughs> That's the way to smurf it, Clockwork. Congratulations, Handsy. It's your turn to receive a helping hand from Brainy Smurf. Well, thanks, but no thanks, Brainy. I've already finished Clockwork's annual checkup, and I've adjusted Clockwork's writer's block so that he can write three times as fast. Why would that imitation Smurf need to write? <laughs> to help King Gerard write all his proclamations. It's my built day gift to Clockwork. Hmm. Maybe that silly conglomeration of nuts and bolts can do something meaningful after all. <gasps> like writing my next book. And to help prevent writer's cramp, I'll just lube him up with a little oil. Brady, stop! <laughs> Nothing like a little oil to moisten the complexion. Yay! <clears throat> hmm. Some Smurfs don't realize how hard it is to find good help these days. But I'm sure Greedy will welcome a helping hand. Greedy, 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 this is your lucky day. Greedy? Hmm, I guess he's not home. No matter, I'll just lend a helping hand without him. Lucky I came along, this cake looks awful. A little yeast ought to smurf it back to size. Thanks to my expert help, Greedy's cake will be as good as new. A pinch of rooster root, a dab of fidget fern, and a dash of wahoo oil. Mm. Oh. How's your experiment going, Papa Smurf? Not very well, I'm afraid. I've been working on this lava leveling formula for days, but it's still not right. I know what you mean, Papa Smurf. This muffin recipe I've been working on isn't cutting the mustard either. 
Hmm? Why, that's it! It needs a pinch of mustard! I'm going to have to pay a visit to the wizard's library in order to complete my formula. The wizard's library? Gee, I'd sure like to check out a few of their magic cookbooks. <laughs> Sorry, Greedy, but you must be certified by the Board of Wizards to get your library card. The wizard's library contains the most powerful spells in all the world. Oh, and Greedy, be sure no Smurf touches my formula while I'm gone. Sure thing, Papa Smurf. Gee, I hope Papa Smurf gets back in time for Clockwork's Bill Day Banquet. Back already, Pop? Oh, it's just you, Brainy. Where's Papa Smurf? I'm sure he'll be thrilled to have my expert help with some complex experiment. Papa Smurf just left for the wizard's library. The wizard's library? Uh, someday, the brilliant quotations of Brainy Smurf will be enshrined in that mysterious temple of knowledge. Oh, gosh, Brady, come quick. There's a giant cake raising the roof off your house. I don't understand. What could have gone wrong? I followed the recipe exactly. Looks like my helping hand gave Greedy's cake a real lift. Hmm. And it looks like Papa Smurf's experiment could use my expert help, too. Oh, gosh, Greedy. What are we going to do? Dig in, clumsy. We're going to have to eat our way out of house and home. <laughs> Now that's a fluffy cake. Oh, no. Oh, no, I've ruined Papa Smurf's spell book. And that means I'm ruined. Unless, unless I can duplicate the book before Papa Smurf returns from the wizard's library. And I know just how to do it. brown turnips to a pound of flour and garnish. There, ah, it's as good as new, and Papa Smurf will never know the difference. <clears throat> yes, well, I'm not exactly sure what each of these magic spells does. Perhaps it wouldn't hurt to test them in the forest so we can find out. library would be full of useless information if not for the forbidden room where the archives of evil are stored. And once I've absorbed all the powerful evil knowledge in the archives, nothing will stop me from taking the Smurfs' long life stone and achieving immortality. This looks like a good spot to test out Papa Smurf's new spell book. Let's see, it says beat two eggs. Then whip. <laughs> These spells are brutal. <laughs> Gee, I wonder how long I'm supposed to keep whipping these poor eggs. I've obviously discovered the spell for making a tree fall. We'd better be more careful next time. These spells are very powerful. <laughs> ah, there it is. The archives of the only evil. Do for you. Yes, I want to get in <laughs> there. I'm afraid that's out of the question. I'm not asking. <laughs> I'm telling. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh no! He's entering the archives of evil. No! 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 Stop him! Stop him! No. 
that hooded hiccupper. Once I absorb the evil from these <coughs> books, I'll be so powerful, I'll be able to summon the Smurfs' long life stone to me. <coughs> Not to mention getting rid of these confounded <coughs> hiccups. There's the evil intruder! Get him! I'm afraid the library will be <coughs> closing early today. <coughs> Soon, the long life stone will be mine. Mine! 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 I can't find clockwork anywhere! And I'm worried about Papa Smurf, too. He's still not back from the wizard's library. That's terrible! Oh, gosh, it looks like Brain is missing, too. That's what I like about you, Clumsy. When things seem the gloomiest, you always look on the bright side. In order to be certain Papa Smurf's new spell book is working properly, I'd better cast one more spell. Drop two ripe apples in water. Then shake. than I thought. <gasps> My word! What could have done this to the wizard's library? Great Smurfs! Someone's broken into the forbidden archives of evil! <gasps> Nemesis! It must be my lucky day! No! Hey, stop! The Smurf is sure to know where the Long Life Stone is hidden. You'll never find out where the Long Life Stone is from me! Oh, but I will. <laughs> I, I, I will. <laughs> it's time to retrieve the long life stone. Now tell me where it's hidden. Never. Never. Never say never. <laughs> this Smurf's memory in the palms of my hands. Lefty, you stay here and get a grip on that Smurf while my right hand hand fetches the long life stone. That's right, Lefty. Give the Smurf a big hand. <laughs> I think we've waited long enough. I know I have. Oh. Well, I think Hefty means we should all lend a hand and start looking for Papa Smurf, Clockwork, and Brainy. <gasps> oh, gosh, it looks like a hand is being lent to us.
Rainy Smurf will save the day. By causing a tree to fall on that hazardous hand. Oh, gosh. What's wrong with Brainy? Nothing, Clumsy. As usual, Brainy's got egg on his face. I don't understand. It worked before. I must need a stronger spell. Let's stop wasting time and get that stone stealer. Place fresh vegetables in a bowl and toss. I guess I need more practice. Hey, wait for me! You'll never get away with this nemesis! Oh, but look how long you are. You're making a big mistake, nemesis. Oh, I can feel the, the power already. Oh, no! Nemesis has Papa Smurf! Oh, let him out! Oh, let him out. Oh, no. Don't come in here, my, my little Smurfs. It's too dangerous. <laughs> they don't really expect this silly toy to stop the most powerful wizard in the world. <laughs> Clockwork, what have they done to you? You may now release the Smurf. <laughs> At last. I'll have the long life stone, <laughs> and soon I'll be immortal. Thanks for coming in so handy, old Good Smurf. <laughs> Yay! Now that I have my hands on the long life stone, I don't need you hands anymore. So be gone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Papa Smurf, are you all right? I'm afraid none of us will be all right unless we can find some way to stop that evil... Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, I brought your spell book. Good work, Brainy. Way to go, Brainy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brainy, you've saved our... Smurfberry Jam. Smurfberry Jam? Brainy, I thought you said this was my spell book. Um, it is, uh, sort of. Uh, you see, your spell book had a little, um, accident, so I made this magnificent copy. Oh, but don't worry, I personally tested the spells, and I can assure you they're incredibly powerful. But this isn't my spell book, it's Greedy's cookbook. I thought there was something funny about that zucchini spell. No, Brainy, Nemesis must never see this book. <laughs> It contains thousands of years of Smurf secrets. It does? Yes. Powerful spells that must never fall into evil hands. Give me that book. You can take the Long Life Stone, but this book is too powerful even for you. Bring me that book. Please, no, not the book. <laughs> After I drain this book, I'll be all the... Oh, powerful! I now possess pure <coughs> ignorance! Ah! What's happening to me? Ah! Take cover, my little smurfs! Oh, oh no! I've been tricked! No! Looks like Smurfy goodness has triumphed once again. Nemesis thought he was absorbing powerful magic, but Brainy's book was so full of uh, pure ignorance, the evil knowledge Nemesis absorbed fled for its life. In other words, I, Brainy Smurf, once again saved the day. Naturally, I knew what I was doing all along. <laughs> my power! My beautiful evil power! <laughs> It's all gone now, Nemesis, so hand over the Long Life Stone. 
I may not be the most powerful warlock in the world, but with your long life stone, I'll live the longest. Let's get him! Yeah! Yeah! Come and get it! <laughs> I can't stand to, to, to look at him! There are some advantages to being hideous. This ought to melt your circuits for good, you bag of boats! <laughs> Put me down, you! You gear grinding! Gizmo! Clockwork, how come you weren't scared of that mean, ugly nemesis? <coughs> you see, Clumsy, Clockwork was built to see only the smurfy goodness in everything, so Nemesis' evil ugliness didn't affect him. <coughs> Hooray for Clockwork! Clockwork! Well, now that the Long Life Stone is safe, we can return to honoring our special hero. The honor is all mine, for as you all know, I, Brainy Smurf, am always ready to lend a helping hand. In that case, Brainy, would you mind getting the cake out of the oven for me? You see, no Smurf can get by without my expert help. Uh, by the way, Greedy, where did you get the recipe for the cake? Why, from my cookbook, Papa Smurf. But if Brainy had your cookbook, then you must have gotten the recipe out of my spell book. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess now we know the recipe for getting rid of Brainy. <laughs> My, 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 there's no better way to start a Smurfy day than with a batch of Smurfin' Hot Smurf Berry Muffins. Let's see, one for me, one for me, and one for me. <laughs> Just thought I'd welcome the Smurfy day with some music, Greedy. Hope I wasn't flat. Don't worry, Harmony, no flatter than these muffins. No, 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 Clumsy, you've got my system all wrong. My remarkably good works go in that bookcase over there. This bookcase is for my unbelievably good works. Oh, uh, uh, I get it, Brainy. Good, now let's get smurfing so we can spend the rest of the day outside. Yes, Brainy, does any smurf ever read these books? <sighs> Of course they do, Clumsy. <coughs> There's a constant demand for my writing. Oh, Brady, can I borrow some of your books? Uh, why, certainly, Hefty. Uh, would you prefer quotations from Brady Spurf or the wit and wisdom of Brady Spurf? I'll take both. No problem at all. I'm always willing to help a Smurf develop his mind. Thanks, Brady, but I'm really trying to develop the muscles in my arms. One, two, one, two. Ah, oh, it's a great day for exercise. One, two, one, two. Bobby, your irrigation system smuffing just fine, my love. Ah, uh, that's it is, farmer. Sure, it's a great day for a do. Oh, uh, yeah, not a cloud in the sky, but a smurfy day. Not a cloud in the sky. What an awful day. 
Well, well, well. <laughs> if it isn't those little blue goody goodies, I can tell by their happy faces and happy smiles that they think the day is just uh, oh, smurfy. Uh, it's enough to make me wish I'd stayed in bed. That's her right. Yeah. Well, I'll just have to do something about that. Oh, here they are, the perfect cure for happiness. The seeds of discord. I've been saving them for a sunny day, just like today. That's a sunny I feel a bit guilty about being indoors, Omnibus. It's such a smurfy day. It could be better. I'm down two games to five. Make that six. The old hippity, hoppity, hop smooth. Smurfs them every time. Amazing. Another example of the shrewdness you've acquired with age and experience. <laughs> Actually, I learned it from a young Smurfie. There! Ah, that should do it. Ah, seeds of discord very deep. Across the land, let tendrils creep. Fill the forest with upheaval. Unleash the giant root of evil. Precious root of evil. Travel far! And don't let anyone have a nice day! <laughs> I'm sorry to say this, Omnibus, but I think I'm going to win again. That's quite all right, Papa Smurf. It's only a game. Of course, after a while, I do get tired of losing to a little blue pumpkin. Omnibus, what's wrong? Oh, nothing that a little spring cleaning couldn't take care of. Whoa! <laughs> no! Playing hard to squash, eh? Oh, Papa Smurf, come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm right here, you old foggy. Smurf's alive! What's smurfing on here? Smurfing me on. How can I be getting my job done with all these silly carrots hanging over me head? Well, well, we'll see about this. Ah, no, you don't. Smurfing me on. This one's a real fighter. Whoa! Oh, you're the carrot napper! Show them the best there is! What do you say to that? Now, where was I? Ah, yes. One for me. And one for me. And one for... Harmony! <laughs> hey, Harmony! I made another batch of Smurf Berry Muffins, and this one's just for you! Gee, thanks a lot, Greedy! Oh, put that in your horn and blow it! <laughs> Hefty! Hefty! What is it, Brainy? I need my books back, Musclehead. He's the smurf with the green thumb. Yeah. It's all your fault, Farber. My fault? I reckon mine is the only smurf who could have dug up something like that. I'm sure as I stand here, the only one who could have come up with a route like this is Mother Nature. I'm absolutely certain of it. And I think it's high time we taught her a lesson. Ah, to Mother Nature's! Baby Smurf, this is no time for play. Go away! I said Smurf it! 
Why, it's Smurfs. How strange. Where did this fruit come from? Hmm. Of course, it's Mother Nature's fault. Amazing. Simply amazing. Obviously, this strange root is having an unsmurfy effect on every Smurf. Every Smurf but you, that is. I mustn't let go of you, baby, until I find a way to destroy this evil root. Hey, Mother Nature! Come on out! Uh, yeah! We want to talk to you! Please, Mother Nature! We need to talk about that awful root. We certainly do! Partnibus told me that you were responsible! <laughs> Smurfs! She can't do that to Papa Smurf! Custard Flambe! Let's Smurf down the house! <laughs> no, no, my... Uh, uh, nasty little Smurfs, listen to me! I've got a better idea for some wonderfully unsmurfy mischief. Oh, uh, yeah? Like what? Well, first we have to find the source of this root. I'll, um, uh, tell you the rest when we get there. Oh, Hydrus. I should have guessed. Come on, my vicious little Smurfs. We're going to have a truly unsmurfy time now. Oh, my wonderful root of evil has made life absolutely miserable for the Smurfs. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, did I say love? Oh, I must watch my language. That's uh, for sure. Otherwise, you might have said something nice. This, my little nasties, is Chlorhydris' favorite plant. Now, what do you think she'd smurf if something happened to it? <laughs> she'd be miserable! I bet this wood saw would help. What a bad idea! Let's do it! <laughs> no, 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 you're doing it all wrong! Let me show you how! Uh, uh, uh. Sure, and I'll show you how it's done, Brianny. Great, Smurfs. This is working better than I thought. <laughs> Smurfs! What are they doing here? I'm sure I don't know. Get out of my garden, you little... No! Oh! Ooh la la, Blue Hydris. This ought to smell some color in your cheeks. No! Say, it's certainly nice to have everything back to normal. It certainly is. Hippity hoppity hops. I win. <laughs> I can't believe it. There's nothing for dinner again. I'm so hungry. <laughs> hmm. Even this cat is starting to look tasty. <laughs> When I found out I was going to be a wizard's apprentice, I thought I'd be in for a life of luxury, not this rat hole existence. Don't stop belly aching. Once I turn the Smurfs into gold, I'll be the richest wizard of them all. Yeah, right. There's the little matter of catching them first. If my new Smurf chasing suit doesn't help me catch Smurfs, nothing will. It's my pinnacle achievement. And after months of tireless work, it's finally finished. Gonna chase him in all that armor. Just watch. <laughs> From this height, I'm bound to find the Smurfs village. What do I do about dinner in the meantime? The forest is full of nuts, my boy. Yeah, don't I know it? Gee, 
Paula Smurf. This is gonna be the biggest Smurf Honey Patch ever! <laughs> I think you're right. Once we finish planting all our seeds... Hold it steady, Slouchy. There! Uh-oh. I hope that's an echo. Sounds like some mighty big woodpeckers to me. That's it, man. I want posters up on every tenth tree. Why, look! It's our good friend, Prince Theodore. Oh, Theo. Smurfette! My dear Smurfs, it's so good to see you again. What you doing? I'm holding auditions for a new court magician to replace Morlock. I remember him. He was very unsmurfy. Oh, if it weren't for you, Morlock would have taken over my entire kingdom. Hmm. Must be intelligent, resourceful, and amazing. <clears throat> I know a Smurf who is more than qualified to fill his position. So do I, Brainy. How about it? Do you want the job, Papa Smurf? Huh? Thank you, Highness. But I could never leave my little Smurfs. Uh, uh, me neither, I'm afraid. I understand. I only hope I can find a replacement soon. I've got a problem only a wizard can solve. What's that? None of the hens in my kingdom will lay eggs. It has my farmers exasperated. Hmm. I may be able to come up with a spell for that. Could you, Papa Smurf? I'll start on it as soon as I return to the village. If you wouldn't mind, Papa Smurf, I'd love to take your egg-laying spell to Theodore once you've finished it. Me too! After all, I've been to his castle before! Hey, what about us? Yeah, it's our turn to go. <laughs> you can all go, my little Smurfs. Great Smurfs, what's that? <laughs> well, well, well. How's the weather down there, you little blue ants? Got it! No, I've got you! Hurry, my Smurfs, hurry! <laughs> You'll never outrun me now! Quickly, Smurfs! Empty your seed sacks! Whatever you say, Mama Smurf! <laughs> I knew this shoot would be your downfall! <laughs> Yowda! was so close. <laughs> How I hate them. If I never see another Smurf again, it'll be too... Huh? What's this? Royal Court Magician. Hmm. Well, how do you want your nuts this time? Poached, pickled, or pan-fried? Ah, the triumphant return. So where's all the Smurfs? Forget the Smurfs. Their history. Here's our future. Must be intelligent, resourceful, and amazing. You? Of course, me. Just think of it. Three hot meals a day, expensive clothes, life in a huge warm palace. And the best part of it all is, I'll never have to chase another Smurf again! And now, Prince Theodore, having sawed my lovely assistant in two, I, the amazing Manfred, shall make her whole again. Presto, change -o. Abracadabra! Oh, dear. Not again. Ahem. I thank you for coming, but I'm afraid you're not the type of magician I had in mind. Sorry. You heard me, Manny. I want out of this act. Well, so far, every magician has been a disaster. We still have one last audition left, sire. Presenting Gargamel the Great and Scruple, his wonder boy. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Careful with that. Don't worry about me. Just make sure you get your part right. Your Majesty, I, Gargamel the Great, shall perform the greatest magic you have ever seen. We begin with this innocent-looking liquid. To it, I add, eye of the new juice, a pinch of rotty rock fungus, a dash of crushed toadnails, and finally, a drop of bubbly bat oil. Strong! That's the bat oil! I know bat oil when I see it, Wonder Boy. Now watch closely, Your Highness. I can't look! Uh-oh! Well, he's amazing, all right. I've never seen such a demonstration. Such power. We'd better get out of here before they make us clean up this mess. 
Oh, Gargamel! Too late. When can you start work? Start work? Uh, me? Him? Yes, I've decided to make you my royal court magician. You, you have? Hey, well, what do you think of that, Wonder Boy? Wonders never cease. <laughs> Gee, Hefty, thanks a lot for helping me bring back these rocks. Uh, have you ever thought about collecting leaves, Clumsy? I hear it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Clumsy, Hefty, you must hear my new poem. <clears throat> While in the woods, I love to hear the chirping birds, the laughing deer, the rabbits hopping on the ground. Oh, woods, I love your every sound. Careful with that, you boob. Gargamel! Well, maybe not every sound. Watch it. Those books are priceless. Careful, Buster. That's a family heirloom you have there. One scratch, and I'll tell Mummy. Everything's packed. Well, what are we waiting for? Okay, driver. Let's go. Goodbye, hunger. Goodbye, poverty. And goodbye, Smurfs. My gosh, am I saying things? For once, I'm at a loss for words. Come on, we gotta tell the others. Here's Theodore's egg-laying spell. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Yeah, we want to see Theodore's castle. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be something you'll never forget. Gather and scallops, let's go, feathers. Goodbye, Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Poet, calm down. You're hyper-smurfilating. Uh, you don't understand. All the other Smurfs are at Gargamel's place. Great heavens! We must save them. But Gargamel's gone. He's gone forever. Gone? Come see! Just look at this layout. All the ancient volumes, all the latest equipment. Now this is how a wizard should live. Yeah, and this is how a growing apprentice should eat. <laughs> <laughs> Gargamel, my men are ready to move your old belongings into the cellar. I'll supervise that personally, Your Highness. Come, Scruple. Tell me, is it true? Has the prince really found someone to replace me? Yeah, a fellow named Gargamel. Gargamel? Sounds like some sort of cough medicine. Say, here he comes now. See here, careful with that. I'll have your head if you drop that box. What a horror. Huh? What was that? Uh, I said, what an honor to, to catch a glimpse of the great Gargamel. Ah, I see my reputation precedes me. Who are you? The name's Morlock. I used to be the court magician. Well, how did you end up here? Politics. He also tried to get rid of the prince and take over the kingdom. Oh, that too. Gargamel, Prince Theodore needs you to cast a spell. Uh, a spell? Uh, already? If you ever need any help, Gargamel, I would be more than happy to oblige. I know all the kingdom spells backwards and forwards. Thank you, but I'm sure I won't be needing your help. Come, Scruple. I know a loser when I see one. <laughs> and I know a buffoon when I see one. Smurfs, so it is true. There's nothing left but papers and dust. Isn't it a beautiful sight? D'accord, I must pass this room. Some of these papers may be quite interesting, but where did Gargamel go? Who knows? Who cares? What's important is that Gargamel will never pose a danger to the Smurfs again. Oh, there it is, Smurflings. Prince Theodore's castle. Oh, yo, Smurf, this is exciting. Just wait till we get inside! Gargamel, the reason I've summoned you is that the hens in the kingdom refuse to lay eggs. I, I need you to cast an egg-laying spell. Uh, an egg-laying spell? Well, yes, you can do that, can't you? Morlock used to do it all the time. Oh, well, well of course I can, sire. Uh, nothing to it. Excellent. I'd like it done as soon as possible. An egg-laying spell? I've never heard of such a thing. Why don't you ask Morlock? He said he'd be glad to help. That loser! <laughs> I'll figure out that spell myself, thank you. Smurferoo! Just look at the size of this palace! Yeah, nice place. Thanks, Feathers. See you tonight. Ah! Now, to find a way inside. <laughs> Looks very 
Smithy. <laughs> Thanks. Too bad old Cargamel himself won't be here to celebrate this going away party. <laughs> I still wonder where he went. All I know is that he was driven away in a royal coach. Really? Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Look what I found among Gargamel's papers. One of Theodore's posters. He even circled the date for the auditions. Oh, no. If Gargamel's gone where I think he's gone, Smurfette and the Smurflings are in great danger. Come on, Smurflings. We can get in through that window. Now, just a few crushed eggshells. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Don't worry, my boy. When it comes to egg-laying spells, Gargamel the Gr... Huh? Happy Gargamel! Uh-oh. Wrong window. <laughs> it's them! What? Huh? Where did they go? Where did who go? They're the, the Smurfs, you imbecile. They were right here. Smurfs? You must be seeing things. Oh, no. My spell! Calculation, Your Highness. I'll correct it in no time. There. Chicken feathers! Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm allergic to chicken feathers. Perfect. <laughs> what a feather brain! Now's our chance! Follow me! What a mistake! Something tells me Theodore's starting to realize that. We've got to find him! Follow me! That's it, Puppy! Keep going! Unusual weather we're having, Papa Smurf! The storm is coming from Theodore's kingdom. It confirms my worst suspicions. I only hope we're not too late. Oh, my poor kingdom! My poor palace! My poor nose! Ah! Uh, then look on the bright side, sire. Think of all the mattresses your subjects can stuff. Yeah, you'll be the Prince of Pillows. That's it. I've had enough of you two. Guards! Guards! Oh, sire, please, please! <laughs> One last chance! I, I, I'll find a spell to clean up this mess, I promise! Oh, please don't grovel like that. It's the only way I know how. Oh, very well. One last chance. Oh, thank you, sire. Thank you. But this next spell had better work or else! I, I understand, sire. Here you are, Gargamel. I promise that this spell will undo everything you've done. Just follow the instructions to the letter. Oh, I can't thank you enough. If there's ever anything I can do for you... Just put in a good word for me with the Prince. I miss the dear boy, so... Here, Scruple. Prepare all the ingredients. What are you gonna do? Reassure Theodore that everything is going to be fine. Just fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fine for me. <laughs> well, here's a study. It's empty. Oh, I'm sure Theo will come by. We'll just have to wait for him. Smother, what a great library. It must have every book ever written. Mm. I don't see Brainy's quotations. Like I said, what a great library. Well, at least I can finally put this down. Oh, Your Majesty, no. you'll be happy to know, huh? Now I've got you! <laughs> well, this day is starting to look up! Gargamel? Maybe, sire, I just stopped by to tell you that the spell is all set. 
What have you there? In, in here? Uh, uh, bats? Oh, yes, yes, bats! Uh, bats for the spell! Uh, Ta-da! That is one batty wizard. <laughs> so, you thought I was hallucinating, eh, Wonder Boy? Well, take a look at this! What are they doing here? Trying to make my life miserable! What else? Gee, Pappy Gargamel, does your new job mean that you finally changed your wicked, wicked ways? Sorry, but this time you can take comfort in knowing you'll be eaten by a big shot. <laughs> yeah. Save snack time for later, Goggy. We've got a spell to perform. Fine, but lock the door first. I wouldn't want anyone to find out we have visitors. <laughs> Hey, did you hear the latest about our new magician? What's that? They're gonna let Gargamel perform one more spell. I hope they warn us beforehand so I can be in the cellar when it happens. There, I've added the frog sweat. What now? Drop in the dragon scales and that should do it. Now to restore this castle and my reputation as well. Oh, how strange. What's happening? I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> Ye gods! Sneak and snakes! It's Morlock! Thanks to you, I'm finally free! Free to perform a spell which will make Theodore's kingdom mine forever! <laughs> Prince Theodore! Papa Smurf! Brainy! What are you doing here? Have you seen Smurfette and the Smurflings? Why no? Papa Smurf, isn't that the spell you gave Smurfette? What's wrong? Is Smurfette in danger? Take us to Gargamel at once. I'll explain on the way. <laughs> Let us go, you dirty, double-crossing slime! Believe me, Gargamel, you won't want to be outside this room when I complete my spell. <laughs> this kingdom now is mine. Its power I shall reap. For all its subjects beyond these walls will turn to helpless sheep. <laughs> The laboratory's just around the corner. If Gargamel's harmed one hair on Smurfette's head, I'll... Great Smurfs! Ah, Theo. Looks like old Morlock has pulled the wool over your eyes again. <laughs> what do we do now, Papa Smurf? Let's get to the laboratory. Keep trying, you idiot. You've got to untie me. Gargamel. Looks like he's in trouble, too. Oh, in trouble, Papa Smurf? Morlock smurfed a terrible spell. It's next to the cauldron. You must reverse it. Come, Brittany. Time is of the essence. <laughs> <laughs> what a fine sheepskin rug you'll make for my throne room, Theo. That's it, my boy. You've got one hand free, now the other. Keep stirring, Brainy. All that remains is the chant. This kingdom belongs to Prince Theodore. Reverse the spell so it is no more. You won't escape me this time. Ah, no, no, it's impossible. Bad news, Morlock. We can only hope my counter spell did the trick, my little Smurfs. Now to free you from this... Papa Smurf, you out! Oh! <laughs> if nothing else, at least I have you! We'd better get out of here while the kitten is good! Not so fast! Theodore! The prince happens to be one of our very best friends, Gargamel. Perfect. Careful with those, you dunderheads. Don't you know what breakable means? That's the last of it. Goodbye and good riddance. Home again. I knew it was too good to be true. Better that Gargamel return to the forest than destroy an entire kingdom, my little Smurfs. At least here we can keep an eye on him. Hey, what's this? Something for me, perhaps. Welcome home, Gargamel! <laughs> Smurfs! Ooh, how I hate those Smurfs! Now remember, Smurflings, toasting a Smurf mellow is an art! How's this, Greedy? Hmm. <laughs>
That looks a bit overdone, Sunset. Mm. Oh, yeah. Overdone, all right. Try another. Yours looks a bit underdone, Nat. Mm. Oh. Yep, just as I thought. This looks perfect. Well, you can never be too sure. Let me check. Uh-uh, Greedy. This one's all mine. Huh? It's the last of the Smurf Mellows. We'll have to do this again sometime. Yeah, and maybe next time the rest of us will get to taste one. Well, I guess we should be Smurfing back to the village. Snappy, why don't you go get some water to put out the fire? The rest of us will clean up. Remember, we have to leave the forest just as we found it. Right, Smurfette. I'll clean up the leftovers. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Why do I always get the hard job? Well, that's that. Hey, look! This will save us carrying it back! One more pail of water should do it. Not again! We have to make sure the fire's completely smurfed out. Oh, it looked out to me. There! All neat and smurfy! <laughs> no shortcuts, Smurflings. We have to carry our trash back home. Yes, Smurfette! <laughs> Why me? Mm, and I took care of all the leftovers. Good. We better get smurfing. It's almost sunset. Oh, Snappy, we're on our way. <sighs> okay, Smurfette. I'll catch up with you. Oh, oh no. Ah, uh, this fire will be all right. I'm sure it's out. La, 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 la. Here I am. Did you pour more water on the fire, Snappy? Uh, yeah. I poured it all right. <laughs> Sorry, puppy. It's getting late. Run along and we'll play tomorrow. <laughs> Snappy, 
Snappy, slow down. You must be careful with that axe. We're gonna stop the fire, aren't we, Papa Smurf? We can only hope, my little Smurfling. <laughs> Before I begin my experiments, I'll have to collect these ingredients. Scruple, empty these vials. I want them scrubbed squeaky clean. Clean, clean, clean! When do I get a chance to mess around? You've messed up my life. Isn't that enough? Ha! That guy really burns me up. Let me see now. Uh, ringwort, eye of newt, tongue of toad, salamander tails. Ouch! Great ghosts! How did that happen? What? What? He gaps! It's a forest fire! Ouch! Hey, that's where I dump your potions. <laughs> the fire break is almost smurf, Papa Smurf! And not a moment too soon. The fire will be upon us in moments. Water. Really hit the spot, Andy. Andy, spray this entire area. We have to stop the fire here. Caps a smurf, we pop a smurf. Well, what pop a smurf? It better, Snappy. It's holding, pop a smurf. It's holding. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Pop a smurf. seeding formula, I once smurfed for farmer during a dry spell. I boosted the formula to make it extra quick and powerful. If it doesn't work, you must be prepared to evacuate immediately. Goodbye, my little Smurfs. <laughs> More water, Scruple! More water! It took me years to build my dream house, and I don't intend to lose it now! Pump faster, you idiot! He wants fast. I'll give him fast. Yay! Was that fast enough for you, Goggy? <laughs> Why, you miserable? It's updrafts from the fire feathers. Try to smurf steady. Let's start smurfing. Circle Y, feathers. This should do the trick. than our poor forest. Oh, dear me. What a terrible sight. I wonder how the fire started. I know exactly how it started. You do? Mm -hmm. oh, yes, it was clearly the work of careless humans. I hate careless humans. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Careless humans, that's it. You see why I was so insistent about the campfire yesterday? Oh, I'm so smurfly, Smurfette. I'm so smurfly. <laughs> Bobby! He's hurt bad. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, poor, poor Bobby! Try these smurfing salts, Nat. <laughs> We need some ointment and bandages. There's some in my green cabinet. I'll smurf them, Papa Smurf. This is all my fault. 
Papa Smurf could have been killed. The forest is ruined. Puppy's hurt. It's all my fault. Oh, come on. Haven't I caused enough trouble? Yow! I finally got him. Good smurfing, Snappy. That was fast work. You're becoming very reliable. Uh, thanks, Papa Smurf. As soon as we take care of Puppy, we can start on the others. What others? Smurf, a look. We've got a lot of wounded animals to take care of. We're going to Smurf a temporary animal shelter, Snappy. Nat will be in charge. We've been weevil. If I can find the humans who started that fire... I know what you mean, Sassa. Bip, bam, pow! I'd Smurf them to the moon! Right, Snappy? Uh, right. Okay, Clumsy, I want to finish this hutch by tomorrow. Smurf a couple of those planks over there. Oh, uh, sure, Andy. <coughs> How are things going here, Nat? Well, fine, Papa Smurf. Every Smurf is helping out. I have Grandpa taking care of the squirrels. How would you feel coming along, Happy? Much better, Nat. Come on, little fellas! Gotta smurf those legs back in shape! <laughs> now that's what I call feather dusting. How do you like my smurfy slings? It brings out their color, don't you think? Very smurfy, Taylor. Oh, puppy, you're looking so good. And when you look good, you feel good. Believe me, I know. <laughs> You seem to be running low on carrots. I don't understand it. I felt Andy smurf them out of the carrot dispenser this morning. Greedy. Oh, <laughs> nobody in here but us buddies. Well, Nat, you seem to be getting a lot of help. Yes, Papa Smurf, and the hardest worker of all, Smurf or not, is Snappy. Really? Take a look. He's the first one here every morning and he never stops. He's doing the work of five Smurfs. Five Smurf? What has gotten into him lately? <sighs> I've filled all the feeders, Nat. What can I do now? Oh, nothing right now, Snappy. Why don't you take a little rest? Are you sure? There must be something I can do. Oh, Papa Smurf, I'll be getting to that replanting now. Good thinking, Farmer. It's never too early to replenish the forest. Let me help you. Together, we should be able to re-smurf the forest twice as fast. Uh, all right. I'm coming. You see what I mean, Papa Smurf? Smurf's alive. That little Smurflin is the best helper I've ever had. Well, I must say, this is quite unusual for Snappy. I'm very impressed. <sighs> Snappy? Snappy! Oh. What is a Smurfette? Wake up! It's time for dessert! I think I'll skip dessert. I'm gonna check the animals one more time. Wait a second, Snappy! This is a special dessert! <laughs> Snappy, in recognition of your hard work on behalf of the forest and our animal friends, I hereby present you with the Medal of Smurfiness. Speech! Speech! Gosh, I don't know what to say. Will you say something, Snappy? Uh, excuse me. Oh, oh my Smurfness. I guess he was embarrassed by all that attention. Evidently. Oh, well, some Smurf should make a speech. Nab and Snappy first met me many years ago. Oop! <laughs> oh, Smurfiness! If they only knew! I'm the unsmurfiest Smurf in the whole world! <laughs> Take my word for it, Scrooper. There are bound to be a few of those little blue pests lying around here somewhere, scorched to a tasty crisp. <laughs> it's just a matter of finding them. Hey, Gog, they may not be as well done as you think. 
Give me that! Ah, this is too good to be true! Well, those despicable blue do-gooders are right out in the open, just waiting for me to pay a visit! Forget it, Garg. They'd spot you coming a mile away. Get ready for a lesson in deception, my fine young apprentice. Sooner or later, the Smurfs are bound to come by to pick Smurf berries. And when they do, they'll find us. This is never gonna work, Goggy. These outfits are ridiculous. Just shut up and start moaning. A Smurf would have to be a complete moron to fall for this. <laughs> oh, my Smurfness. You poor wounded bears! Oh, don't worry, little fella. My friends and I will take care of you. Even your awful-looking father here. <laughs> ah, Smurfix. Where you got yourself, Papa Smurf? My growth formula. The effect should be a bit slower on trees, but I'm sure it will do the trick. I cleaned out all the hutches, Nap. What can I Smurf now? If you wish, you can sprinkle this formula on all the saplings you planted. It should have the forest growing like new in no time. smurf a -roo. I'll get right to it, Papa Smurf! My, my. I still can't get over what a hard worker Snappy has become. Hey, what was that? Great Smurf! Look, it's Snappy's metal! We must have scooped it up from the river! We'd not like Snappy to lose something so special! Hmm. Snappy hasn't been like Snappy for some time. Oh, I hope this works. It's just gotta. If only I'd been more careful. Careful about what, Snappy? Uh, nothing, Papa Smurf. Does it have something to do with this? Yes, Papa Smurf. Something tells me it's time you and I had a heart-to-heart -heart talk, my little Smurfling. Hey, Ever Smurf! Come take a look! I Smurf some more animal friends! <laughs> Get ready, Scrooper! Boy, oh boy, these bears look terrible! I'll say. Ugh, yes! Well, this one hasn't even bothered to clean his socks! Socks! No, Scrooper! Get away! Scram, you mangy mongrel! Hey, this was more fun than fishing. Come, Scrooper. All this activity has given me an appetite. <laughs> I don't see how the others will ever forgive me, Papa Smurf. The most important thing is that once you tell the truth, you'll be able to forgive yourself. <gasps> Look! What happened? Where is every Smurf? <laughs> Puppy, who did this? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, Gargamel! What do we do, Papa Smurf? There's only the two of us. Hmm. Maybe not, Snappy. <laughs> I'll have my crispy Smurfs yet. Hey, watch the face. You're really gonna eat them, huh? You bet! I might even let you have a taste. No, thanks. Blue Fool doesn't agree with me. Gargamel! Unhand those Smurfs! Says who? Says me, Snappy Smurf! <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Come back here, you little blue dessert. Now I've got you! Ouch! Oh, 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 oh. Why, you brazen beavers? Yeah! Good smurfing, Snappy. Where'd they go? Hey, who turned out the lights? Yo! Help! Help! <sighs> You're a hero again, Snappy. You might not think so once this is all over. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry! Not so fast, you smurfy twerps! Ouch! Ouch! Oh, God! I hate smurfs! I hate them! And so, you see, 
It was all my fault. If I had smurfed the campfire like I was supposed to, none of this would happen. I won't blame you if you never forgave me. What do you mean? It takes a pretty big smurf to admit such a big mistake. And it wouldn't be very smurfy of us not to forgive. Golly, will you look at that? Yes, it will take time, but the forest should return to full size. Congratulations, Papa Smurf. We'll actually snappy smurfed all the work. Huh? Perhaps you'll want that back now. Gee, thanks, Papa Smurf. <laughs> thanks a lot. makes me feel a hundred years younger. Hey, Grandpa, what are these funny lines? Why, those are tree rings, Slouchy. Each ring stands for a year in the life of a tree. Smurf or real, Grandpa, this tree must even be older than you. <laughs> Not quite, Matt. But look here. This ring was formed when Papa Smurf was about your age. Mother who? Smurfs, what unbelievable luck. That remains to be seen. Shush! Follow me. Boy, oh, Smurf, Grandpa. This tree has sure lived through a lot. Yes, sir, e Smurf. Just think of what our own Great Oak could tell us if he could only talk. Right now, I think he'd say you're in big trouble. <laughs> this way, Smurflings. Now I've got you. <laughs> Terrific! Hurry! Well, that was a lot of fun. Blast those blue branch hoppers! Although something that old Smurf said was quite intriguing. If the Great Oak could talk, it could tell me where the Smurf village is. How are you gonna get a tree to talk? I have my way. <laughs> I'm sorry to Smurf you to so much trouble, Mother Nature, but I want to be sure those baby eagles are healthy. Oh, it's no trouble at all, Papa Smurf. I've been wanting to visit the mountains for some time. I thought they'd never leave. <laughs> the special ingredient I need is but steps away. Gee, look at all these jars. This green glowing one is what we're seeking. See? Plant power powder. Once I've mixed this into my formula, the great oak will become a great big blabbermouth. <laughs> oh my, what a spectacular sunrise. <laughs> yeah, it's sure a great day to be outdoors. Why don't you come with me, Clumsy? You can help me collect pine needles for my flower arrangements. Gee, that'd be smurfy. Smurf a real Nat. Wanna help us hang the new swing? I can't. I'm going with Grandpa to pick acorns for Greedy's acorn salad. Grandpa, wait for me. Smurf a Rudy, what's that? Uh, my, my automatic acorn picker. It'll make the job much easier. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> now to get this oak to open up. Oh, where am I? Gee, it works. Yes, yes. Don't just stand there, you overgrown acorn. Tell me where I can find the Smurfs. I, I, I don't know. Hey, I'm talking. How can this be? I made you talk, so talk! Where's their village? I, I really don't know. They, they visit me, I don't visit them. <laughs> I came prepared for an obstinate oak. Now, tell me what I want to know. How dare you threaten me? Watch it or I'll chop you into toothpicks. Why, you wicked human! When I get my limbs on you, Yes! Let's get out of here! Come back, you, you! Hey, I can move! I can dance! I, I'm free! I'm free! Looks like you barked up the wrong tree, Gorgi! One of these miserable trees must know where the Smurfs are! I'll find out which if I have to spray the entire forest!
We're almost there, Grandpa. Yes, the Great Oaks should have plenty of acorns this time of year. Hey, can you slow down a little? Uh. Grandpa, come quick. Look, the Great Oak is gone. Great Smurfs. They couldn't have just smurfed up and walked away. Well, I've never seen animal tracks like these. We better find out where they lead. Faster, Scruple. Faster! I'm pedaling as fast as I can. Well, don't slow down. I want to blanket every inch of the forest with my formula. Here's some more needles, Clumsy. I got it, Smurfette. I got it. Hmm. These needles really aren't that pretty. Uh, maybe we should find another tree. Well, of all the nerve. You spend the whole morning pulling off my needles, and now they're not good enough for you. Huh? Get off me! Yay! <laughs> Guys, Smurfette, what's going on? Out of my sight, you ungrateful creatures! Quick! Back to the village! Smurfaroo, the swing is great! Come on, Snappy, it's our turn to try it! Gee, what's that green stuff? Hey! Who's in my branches? Chatter and Woodchucks! The tree has a face! Get out of my hair! Yeah! Hey, look what you did to our tree house! You heard what I said! One temperamental tree. <laughs> Smurf a doodle. It's the great oak. Oh, the Smurfs. Gee, he can talk. But how? A human gave me these powers. What human? A nasty man who was looking for you. <gasps> Gargamel! I'm glad you're here. I was looking for some traveling companions. Please, Mr. Oak, you must go back to your place in the forest. That's right. Every living thing has its proper home. But I love being free to go where I please. Almost as much as I love the sound of my own voice. A me 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 How wonderful! You all have voices! Pull up your roots, my friends, and spread the word! We've got places to go and things to see! Follow me! This is terrible! We've got to get back to the village and tell the others! Oh, my smirks! I can't believe it! All the trees are leaving! Oh, life without trees is going to be unbearable! <laughs> There, there, Smurfette. I'll be happy to put you out of your misery. <laughs> this worked out better than I planned. Without the trees, you have no place to hide. <laughs> oh, my Smurfs. What I wouldn't give for some shade. Hey, Grandpa, someone's coming. Quick, Bobby, behind that rock. <laughs> How do you think I should prepare them, Scruple? Charbroiled? Fricasseed? Ah, ah! How about Mooshu Smurf? <laughs> well, oh no, what are we gonna do? We must find the Great Oak. He's our only hope. Dear, oh dear, my roots are killing me. Oh, mine do. Can't we rest a while? All right, Willow, quit your weeping. I guess I could use a break myself. Great Oak, wait up! The Smurfs are in danger! You've got to help us! Why should we? What have you ever done for us but pick our pine needles? Eat our fruit! Use our wood! I'm sorry the Smurfs are in trouble, but we trees have our own lives to live. Why, you wouldn't have any life at all if it wasn't for me. What do you mean? I was the Smurf who planted the acorn, which grew into you, you big log! You? I, I had no idea. He's not the only seed I smurfed and took care of. Oh! <laughs> we Smurfs have always been your friends, and now we need your help more than ever. Yes, but, but what can we do? 
Egad, you dunderhead, what have you done? That was my favorite chair. Well, you told me to build a fire to cook the Smurfs. And without trees, there's no firewood. Uh, well, I, I guess it's a small price to pay for the meal of the century. <laughs> now, who should be my hors d'oeuvre? Hmm, that baby looks appetizing. <laughs> Gargamel! <laughs> Who's that? Uh-oh, you don't want to know. <gasps> We've got you surrounded. Set the Smurfs free at once. Quick, lock the shutters! No, 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 no! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid all this excitement has left me quite weak. None of us feels too sturdy right now. It's not the excitement, my friends. With your roots out of the soil, you're losing nourishment. Unless you return to the forest, you're doomed. <laughs> and so you see, though the trees have come back, they're too weak to replant their roots into the ground. It's a good thing you came and got us, Grandpa. Yes, my poor, poor trees are starving. I'll have to change them back the way they were. Does this mean we'll lose our voices? I'm afraid it's the only way. Oh. Oh. You were right, Grandpa. This is my home here in the soil. Come and visit me often, little Smurfs. Even if I can't speak, I love having you around. I'm sort of sorry to see him go, but it's good to have our forest back. All I can say is the trees should be very grateful to have friends like the Smurfs, particularly one like me with such extraordinary intelligence. Hey, who threw those acorns? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> These Smurf berry bushes are bound to attract some tasty little Smurfs, eh, hey, Azriel? <laughs> And then my super sensitive snap traps will do the rest. <laughs> you see, Azriel, this time I'm bound to have Smurfs for supper. How do you even know what a Smurf tastes like, Gargi? You've never been able to hold on to one long enough to eat it. Just keep your muddled mind on studying those spells, Grupal. Ah, uh, this is just baby stuff. A is for alchemy, B is for bunions. This is a spell for growing onions. <laughs> oh, stop sniveling! Give me that book. This is supposed to be a Smurfberry patch, not an onion field. Alakazoo, Alakazam! I command these onions! Scram! Gee, you did that pretty good, Gargi. But of course, for a well-educated wizard like me, magic is a snap. Whoa! <laughs> Don't just stand there! Get me down! Smurfs could be coming along any minute! Golly, puppy! Taking you for a walk is my favorite exercise! What you smell, puppy? Something to eat? Gosh, puppy! It's a Smurf bear patch! Let's get us a snack! Sounds like my first Smurf catch of the day! It's Cargmail. Hi, puppy. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be Smurf stew for lunch. Yeah, it's going to be Smurf stew for lunch. Looks more like plucked chicken to me. Yeah. I don't want birds. I want Smurfs. Shoo, shoo, get out of here. Shoo, get out of here. Thanks a lot, Gargi. That babbling bird might have been pretty tasty. <laughs> You're safe now, little birdie. But gosh, you hurt your wing. But gosh, you hurt your wing. <laughs> Golly, puppy. Looks like I got me a talking bird. <laughs> hey, Ever Smurf, look at what I found. <laughs> hey, Ever Smurf, look what I found. Staggering starlings, clumsy. Your bird talks. That's because he's a minor bird, I said. He repeats everything he hears. Every 
This little fella saved me from one of Gargamel's traps, Papa Smurf, and I'm gonna smurf for real good care of him. Well, first I'd better take a look at that wing. Take a look at that wing. This sling should mend this wing in no time. Gee, thanks, Papa Smurf. Gee, thanks, Papa Smurf. <laughs> You're both welcome. Hello, clumsy old pal. Let me get a closer look at this talking bird. <laughs> I guess he wants a closer look at you, Brady. Naturally. He has never seen a creature of such intelligence before. Such intelligence before. Just think, this bird can repeat my every brilliant word. What an education for the rest of you Smurfs. What a bore. What a bore. I heard that, hefty Smurf. Any Smurf care for some fresh-baked Smurfberry tarts? Golly, yeah, sure do. Well, personally, I find them way too sweet. Personally, I find them way too sweet. Don't Smurf me any favors. If you don't like them, I'll eat them. Nice work, Brainy. Your big mouth cost us a mouth-watering treat. Oh, Papa Smurf, Painter's new exhibition is so, uh, um, uh, so, uh, uh, colorful. Now, isn't this painting something? <clears throat> it, uh, it certainly is, Smurfette. I just wish I knew what it is. I just wish I knew what it is. Beaujolais, don't you Smurfs understand the modern art? <laughs> modern art. Baby Smurf could do better than that. Huh. Modern art. Baby Smurf. Better than that. Is that so? Then go see Bobby's exhibition. Man, she is a bear. Bruising buffalo, Hefty. You sure are strong. What a muscle bound show off. What a muscle bound show off. From the sound of things, I'd, uh, uh, I'd say our little Smurfs are acting rather unsmurfy. Our little Smurfs are acting rather unsmurfy. Who are you calling unsmurfy? Clumsy, I think your miner looks well enough now to go back to the forest. Why don't you smurf in there, uh, right away? But, Papa Smurf, things won't be the same around here without him. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. All right, Papa Smurf, we're leaving. Thanks, Smurfness. That miner was becoming a major problem. There you go, little birdie. Let's see if you can fly with both wings. Fly with both wings? Golly, Brainy! Would you look at that? Looks like he's flying home. You know, Brainy, I'm really gonna miss a little fella. What rotten luck! I've waited all day and I haven't caught one miserable smurf. Oh, my poor stomach is grumbling. What about me? I'm just a growing apprentice and I'm too hungry to study. Oh, stop whining. It can't be much longer before a plump, juicy little smurf shows up. Oh, a scrawny smurf won't satisfy my appetite. I need something more filling like... Oh, duck! And here's a quick and easy spell to conjure one up. Ribbit, ribbit. Hold it right there, Froggy. Don't move. Run amok, become a duck. Run amok, become a duck. Look, Corky, my spell worked. I changed that frog into a duck. Whoa, stop! Come back here. Here, ducky. Do you hear something, Brainy? Clumsy. It should be quite obvious by now that the miner has meandered and isn't coming back. Run a muck, become a duck! <laughs> well, well. Looks like you two are real duds as duck hunters. We would have caught him, but he had a head start. <laughs> Ducks! Not bad, hey, Gargi. We're gonna have duck soup for lunch. Yeah. Here, 
Yes, you! Yes, you! Get those web-footed waddlers away from me! I'm allergic to... Yes, you! Duck feathers! Remember what they say, Gargi. Two ducks in a bag are worth a smurf in the bush. Run amok! Become a duck! Falling buzzards! It's clumsy bird! Duck! Run amok! Become a duck! Maybe duck soup won't be so bad after all. If you get rid of those feathers, yeah, you. Relax, Cargi. I'm all done. <laughs> wow, more ducks. This must be our plucky day, Goggy. Pop a smurf! Pop a smurf! Something terrible is happening! Comsy's mind of bird is turning smurfs into ducks! Oh, pop a smurf! Right on mark, become a duck! <laughs> Great Smurfs, this is serious, Hefty. Obviously, the miner is repeating a spell that heard somewhere, and I'll have to find the counter spell fast. No, bitch, more ducks! Yes, you! I'm quacking up! Look at it this way, Gargi. We'll have plenty of leftovers. Here are the rest of your books, Papa Smurf. Thanks, Hefty, but I think I found the counter spell. A Smurf I was, a Smurf I'll be. Goodbye, ducky. Hello, me. A smurf I was, a smurf I'll be. Goodbye, ducky. Hello, me. Pink smurfness, we have a trail of feathers to follow. Mm, smells like somebody's making stew, Papa Smurf. I just hope it isn't duck stew, Hefty. Ah, thank goodness those infernal quackers will soon be bubbling in this broth. Yeah. Great smurfness, Gargamel has captured every smurf. I mean, every duck. Come on, Papa Smurf. Let's turn them loose. Hefty, wait. Smurfs! See, Scruple? I knew there'd be Smurfs for lunch. Suit yourself. I'm having ducks. It's you. Oh, no, you're not. Get rid of those feathered pests. Hey! Go on, shoo, shoo, and shoo, shoo, and shoo. A Smurf I was, a Smurf I'll be. Goodbye, ducky. Hello, me. But, 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 but those ducks, those ducks are Smurfs. Run, my little ducks. Get in there, Smurfs. Run. After them, Scruple. Don't let them get away. Forget it, Corgi. You'll let them go in the first place. Never mind, you feather brain. I'll catch them myself. <laughs> I had them all. The Smurfs were all mine, and I let them. <laughs> Gee, I hate to see a grown wizard cry. <laughs> Ooh, I despise Smurfs. I despise apprentices. I despise cats. Oh, oh Pappy, it's so Smurfy being a Smurf again. Golly, Papa Smurf, I thought we were all dead ducks. Duck! Don't remind him. Don't remind him. And that reminds me, I hope you've all learned a valuable lesson from our little feathered friend. I know. Never say anything you wouldn't want repeated. You said it, Smurfette. You said it, Smurfette. Uh, goodbye, Birdie. Maybe I'll see you again someday. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you again someday. <laughs>